able to prove my prove the case, let's go back to the Ohio State National Championship <laughs> game. Back when was it? O2? Oh, two. When they won. No when that was referee was decided to keep playing. On, on how many <laughs> penalties? Mad at that he puppy. kept throwing. Come that on, man. come dude. on, double. He threw like pass interference after pass interference after tight run. Yeah, that right. was kind of that was fixed. fixed. Yep. It was fixed. Yep. That, that's really what happened. I couldn't believe that they continued the game. So come on, man. Like Buckeyes game last week came down to the last play. When you watch football, I still don't. How many? You see bad calls all the time. Just watch the game. Just watch the Buckeyes game, man. People I don't know why I don't care It's just all fake, man. Right. It's crazy. Oh, it's crazy, but it. people don't see it, though. People don't care to see it because they're too in love with those colors, man, and those those idols that run up and down, bouncing balls off their head. They're hey, in love with that shit, man. You got people that have written, written whole books on exposing this, uh, how the sports yeah, is Because yeah. they said football, uh, I forget how much money it makes. It's made $4 billion annually off of revenue. I think it's $8 billion or no. something. Uh -oh. But they make that much in one day off of gambling. They, they make like $60 billion off of gambling. Yeah, it's more money in the game. They make more money off of gambling than they do from actual ticket sales and uh, you know, the jersey sales, so selling the gambling, soda. Yeah, the gambling produces more uh, profit. So, so, it has to be so it has to be controlled. You know what I mean? But there's that much money at stake. They gotta have some kind of control on it. Remember that referee in the NBA came out and said that. Tim Donahue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He got caught. And, you know, he was. And he's a ref he again. He got suspended he for like two years, and now he's a ref yeah, again. He's, that's he's up. refing again right now. Right. But doesn't basketball don't they make more money than football? Because there's more games. No, actually, baseball players make the most. Then basketball, then football. Because baseball players make a lot. Yeah. They but play 120 games. How many games is it? 120 or something like that. Oh, it probably does. Because it's indoors and. Because in baseball, they don't have a salary cap. That's why they make more. I can't stand baseball. Uh, probably football probably more. makes the most. Has to. No, that NASCAR. basketball does because there's more games and it's indoors. That's a no problem. Really? Yeah. Basketball? Yeah. No, basketball. Football a ticket. They may have 100 games per season. Oh. Man, they do play a lot. They but the done. football tickets are like $45 for the nosebleed seats. I figured football had to make Basketball more. only costs like $20 all to of get it. It makes a lot. More games, it's, a, it's all sick numbers. But football. there's people paying a thousand dollars for one seat at a football game to sit for a row. Because they only play once a week. It's all a shame though, because then on top of that, they force uh, the taxpayers to build the stadiums too. Right. You know what I mean? They force. Here it is. It's a private company. That's what, these are private companies. The NBA. These ain't gov. I mean, they are government sponsored, but on paper they're private mm -hmm. businesses. Right. Right. But if they're private businesses, how can the people got to pay for this safety? All they, they just sucking the people dry, man. And it, 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 like we were talking about earlier, how they use words to manipulate business. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy what they do, man. They use them football games to keep people asleep, keep people, get people arguing over who your favorite team is instead of arguing about, uh, say, righteous things. Righteous things like, uh, like right now, like shouldn't be celebrating Thanksgiving. That's against the Bible. It shouldn't be. Hell no. I, know, I think this is the most important holiday. The Native American what? Indians were slaughtered, man. Well, all the other holidays are kind of made up. Well, Thanksgiving is Easter. Easter. Come on. Easter Christmas. is paganism. That's paganism. But that's the same as, you know, it's part, part of Christmas. Well, yeah, Christmas. Easter and pe Christmas Easter and Christmas go hand in hand because Christmas, Christmas, Christmas is dealing with the winter solstice. And yeah, and that, Easter's done with spring and all that. It's, it goes and back Christ, to pagan you know, worship. Christ. But uh, but Thanksgiving, that's a that's a recent thing. Actually, Thanksgiving, every Thanksgiving is always on what day? Thursday. That's the day of four. Yeah. The day of four. Thursday. The the the, uh, the day of the week Thursday means Thursday. Oh, so like let's all go. Right. Sunday means the day of the sun. Monday is Moon Day, Day of the Moon. Uh, uh, Wednesday is the day of Mercury. Uh, excuse me, I skipped Tuesday. Tuesday is Mars. Mercury is a uh, well Wednesday. That comes from Woden or Odin. You know what I'm saying? Thursday is Thor. Friday is Frigg. Saturday is Saturn Day, the day of Saturn. But that's why uh, Thanksgiving is always on Thursday because this it goes back to the ancient Norse tradition when they worship Thor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? That's why it's always on Thursday. It's only a, it's kind of a new holiday. Well, it is, but it's still, it's always on Thursday, so that, they tell, that's a dead giveaway that they get praise to Thor. And you know, Thor in ancient Rome was known as Zeus. Oh, and excuse me, he was known as Jupiter in ancient Rome, and the Greeks called him Zeus. You know what I'm saying? That's why you go downtown, and they got a, uh, they got a Roman temple downtown. See that giant Roman temple down there? You mean where that, where that Greek?
Oh, it's, it's called, they call it the State House. Oh, all right. That's, that's a Roman, I call it a temple. I call I'm it what it right. is. I work next to that. All that's right. the Temple of Jupiter right there. They got one in almost every city. The, the Capitol building, you know the Capitol building, uh, Washington, D.C., Capitol Hill. Where does, that get, where does that come from? It gets its name from the ancient Roman Empire. And there's a hill in the ancient Roman Empire, I mean, in the city of Rome, called uh, Capitol Hill. And that was the temple to Jupiter. You should have brought that book with you, man. Which one? Yeah, that one shows you the Nazi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, you should have brought that book with you. Oh, yeah, you should have brought that book Yeah, but see, so this whole, this whole country is based on paganism. All the holidays are pagan in origin. The whole world is based on paganism. That's yeah, except for this. That's why we're supposed to follow this. This tells us. Look, I'm going to show you something. We already read it once. I'm going to read it again real quick. Because pagans are heathens. All right. I'm going to read this again. What's the matter with it? Bro. What is it? Is that on some shit? Uh, <laughs> All right. But look, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. We're supposed to listen to the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the ways of the heathen. So, so them pagans, like them Vikings or any name a heathen to worship multiple gods. That's a heathen. So you, first of all, you think it's a smart thing to believe in that there's a whole bunch of gods. There's a nature god. You know, there's a... a with a god in the moon, the moon god, the sun god, the, the, god. the tree god. Mm -hmm. Only a fool would be into that. So why would you worship a holiday that commemorates that? Like these you know musicians, saying? these music musicians, they play the music gods. They yep. pray the music gods. These sports motherfuckers, they play the Greek gods and, yeah. you know, different gods. Well, they say, oh yeah, a lot of musicians, they worship Apollo because they say Apollo is the one, because uh, Apollo was always played the lyre. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. That's but he, crazy. And it says, learn not the way of the heathen. Don't follow them motherfuckers. Anybody that's going to be sucking on a donkey's dick, yep. you know, you know their... <laughs> Al Alistair Crowley said through the power of Satan that anybody mm -hmm. could become a master musician. You hear a lot of musicians say through their favorite, their favorite songs, their hottest, hottest singles, they say it wasn't even them playing. You know what I'm saying? Say they, it, say, it. They, they say it. Man, there's all kind of interviews on a lot of these, a lot of these entertainers, man. Yeah, Jay-Z said it. All That's of them. Fake. All of them they pretty much say it. All, all of them pretty much say it. Heard Michael Jackson said it. Michael Jackson. He's like, this song just writes itself. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's crazy, though. You know, but like it's real, Mike. though, man. These people, they something they, they fucking making up. It's real. You know what I'm saying? The Jedi Knight. And they get their answers. They get their prayers answers, man. So that's why they become big time. Yeah, Satan answers their prayers. Then fuck. Then the Most High fucks them up. So you guys didn't celebrate, celebrate the Thanksgiving at all? So hey, no. no. How about your children? They don't fuck my kids if they into that shit. But my kids are. Well, my kids into that shit. My man. kids are into that shit. It's just wicked. That's I wicked. mean, our families may buy us over to get some food. I might go over to get some food, but more than likely I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't be around my family on holidays. It's some problems. So, so I'll be like, uh, let me get this scripture. <laughs> and when I bring out the Bible, everybody gets mad. Really? And I want to deal with the truth. They want to watch their stupid football. They want to watch their football. They want to <laughs> stuff their face. They don't it's give like a fuck. Get the fuck out of my house with Look, that bullshit. Because they say Christmas you know? is the day of Jesus, right? Like, they, even though we know it's not. Get that shit out of they'll, they'll say it's Jesus' birthday. Now, how come if this is Jesus' birthday that you won't let me read the Bible on it? You know what I mean? They have a problem when I read the Bible. They willingly love me. They, they don't want to have nothing to do with Jesus. That's why. And that's Nimrod, the 25th is all about. Yep. Nimrod, Some, ancient Babylonian piece of shit. Oh, like we were saying earlier, I'm going to get it right here. Let's read this. Because we already went over it again. We'll do it again. Thus say the Lord, learn not the ways of the heathen. So we ain't going to learn the ways of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because this is all based on astrology. Like uh, Christmas happens during the winter solstice. That's dealing with astrology and the stars. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So this is the important part. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. 
and they fasten it with nails and hammers that it moves. All not. that is common sense. All is common sense when you move. So what's that talking about right there? Definitely do. They move it with the What they say about the nails? They fasten it. Fasten it with nails so it can stand straight up. And they know? put silver and gold They're on it. Working with the axe, chopping that bitch down. So what's that talking about? Or the chainsaw. <laughs> You're talking about the Christmas tree. Christmas tree, right? It's in the Bible. So don't put Christmas tree in your house. Like we said earlier, say Christmas tree. It don't have to. It don't say UFOs either. You know what well, that tree UFOs is? All in the Bible. I'm gonna bring that one scripture out again. This is real important. We already went over it once, but we do it again. You know, man. Bible don't. I mean, back then, man, they didn't say this. They didn't use the same terms we use today. You know what I mean? You're right. Okay, check this they out. They usually describe things as the best as they can, you know. I'm gonna show you what you want. You know, you, time. you know what that Christmas tree represents? All right. I'm gonna show you what that Christmas tree is. Mm -hmm. This is Genesis mm -hmm. two and fifteen, and the Lord. This is the back. We're gonna go all the way back to the Garden of Eden. All right. And the Lord God took man, Adam, and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying. Of every tree of the garden they, thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest it, thou shalt surely die. So we were in that fruit, at Eve ate that fruit. We were in that story. The serpent tempted Eve, he gave her the fruit, he said, eat this. He said, God's lying to you. You know, you're not going to die if you eat that. You're going to become like God. So everything that's pretty much going on now is spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Either on the left hand side or the right hand side. You know, but mainly these people, everything's doing on the left hand side. Yes. So earth, the scripture says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And that's why they got Christmas trees in the house. Right. Because a Christmas tree represents that tree that you're not supposed to eat. That's why they put little fruit on it. The little balls. What's the little balls they put on the bulbs? It's all shiny. It looks like that nice shiny fruit was on that tree you wasn't supposed to eat. Everything is going on. Do you, you see that? Yeah. That's what that is, man. Like we were saying earlier, you ever, uh, I'll say it again, because we already, we was making a video, but uh, like the word, you know who, you ever hear the Druids? The Druids, they was ancient, ancient Celtic priests that sacrificed children. Right, right, they sacrificed, they were some devil worshippers, right? But the word Druid comes from the word tree. Druid. Druid is Celtic for tree. <laughs> so it all goes back to that tree that you ain't supposed to eat. So that's why all these dumb, stupid ass people I know you. I know you ain't got no tree up in your shit. Dude. I used to, but I quit. So uh, now you seem like you got enough sense. Uh, I quit doing that for 15 years now. You popping back down the street in front of us is spiritual, huh? You coming yeah. back down here in front of us? He said, he said he had to get out. He had to think about. What you think about? What's huh? going on, though? We'll talk right with us, man. Huh? What's going on? What you no, think I just about? Got, um, That's funny, though. He had I to can't think. go there. What you mean? I can't go there. You, got you didn't to... remember I told you we was out on oh, Thursdays? What's that? You didn't remember I said we come out on Thursdays now? Wednesdays. Oh, we was Thursday. doing Wednesdays for a minute. Yeah, we sure were. We sure were doing Wednesdays. Now, now oh, so now it's Thursday. Yeah, people's days of work, we, you know, they go to work. We get out when we can. The day off chains and shit like that. Oh, really? Make so, sure. you know, we, we, work to put it, we work with each other, you know. But, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, so y'all be messing with the students, huh? Oh, man, we, we, we mess with them. You know, know every, we but everybody comes out here, not just students. We act, more, actually, there's more non-students up here than there's students. Yeah. A lot of old people Are you always up here? You ain't no student. I know. I wish I was. Shit, fuck that. Oh, well, it's something to do, though. Yeah, well, other be, than that, you ain't going to get a degree and get no prosper. It's depressing, man. It'd be good to go to school and get some pussy. Shit, that's well, it. Well, what you depressed about? You fuck some hoes, she burns you? No, <laughs> no, like, you know, this know? young girl has got it on my mind, and she's... You know, oh, man. What? Oh, man. Me. Wow. She made me feel like a trespass, but she's always, like, inviting me. For real? Yeah, but... I'm just too scared. What's she look like? Nah, what's she look like? She's a big mom. No, nah, she's sweet, but <laughs> <laughs> that's why, you know, she look like a damn. Don't worry about these women, man, because soon enough, soon, and I mean real soon, man, these women gonna come begging for you to protect them, man. Bag, they're gonna come begging for you. That's you said that bro. a year ago. Well, well it's coming. I, 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 it's what, about to happen. What happened to those people over there in that gay hoop that storm over there in New York and New Jersey? Yeah, them women, they was getting raped in the dark at night yeah, with no yeah. electric. Other people talking about they got raped? Yeah. All dude, kinds of people getting robbed. Getting stabbed. It's still messed up over there. I didn't hear part. about all that. Oh, no, nah, you ain't gonna hear about that. Yeah, yes, you get all your news from the TV. Where'd you hear from this from? YouTube. Man, actually, they talk about it on the radio. Mm -hmm. You got a radio, don't you? Yeah. If you ain't got the internet or nothing, at least you fuck the, the TV. 
Get your news from the radio before yeah. TV. Because you get, Man, news, you get it's good news. all you need is six ten a.m. <laughs> <laughs> NPR. Yeah. NPR. They got yeah. NPR is good too. Yeah. Yeah. Six ten. You got news in the morning, the nine to ten. Yeah. And well, then you got. I don't like Rush Limbaugh too much. I li I listen to Alex Jones at twelve o'clock. I don't listen to Rush Limbaugh. I listen to the radio. I got the radio on all. What about day. Hannity? I listen to Hannity I mean, too. All, all that bullshit is good to listen to because there's always some some facts you can yeah. use in there. Sean Hannity's full of shit, man. Him. He's upset Obama was he, too. He, he, all he straight works with him, goddamn. He got his head stuck so far in Jews' ass. It's unbelievable. <laughs> nah, they just don't believe in Obama's policies, man. Oh, Sean Hannity's a homeless. He's a cocksucker. But uh, I like Mark Levin better than him. <laughs> yeah, he be cursing fools out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mark McLean be playing black music too. Oh, niggas yeah. music. You know I be thinking he's an Israelite. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But he, he thinks he's a Jew, you know? Man. Yeah, you never know. You never know, man. Because he on fire. Yeah, he be cursing <laughs> motherfuckers out. He yeah, sounds like a white right racist son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he, you can tell it in his talk, his <laughs> voice. Because you got you to gotta get hit to the conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. man. That's no, the I, I got this dude at work. Everything's a conspiracy. It is, though. It, everything it is. Everything is. It is. is. He, said that, he said the Frankenstein was a conspiracy. They, they made that was. They didn't make that. Yeah, they made you don't it, think it's man. possible? Don't they you know make, um, they were seeding clouds back in World War II? The yeah, Vietnam but they could do that for small areas, but not for giant areas. Well, they all can, their technology is far more advanced now. Where so they would kill all those people on purpose. Yeah, yeah. That's a great sacrifice. That is nothing. Did you, they dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Did you make World War II? <laughs> Did you miss World War II? Yeah, I'm glad I missed it. Yeah, I went around. He said, "Look, they beat him, Jesus." This is Pepsi, man. That's, that's our red <laughs> alcohol for real. I'm allergic to everything. That's why I'm so thin, oh, man. Really? I'm melting away. Damn. I got food allergies. That's why I'm trying to get thin up, man. I can't do it. It's hard, man. I can't eat milk, no slowly spices. Happened, but damn. Yeah, Most disgusting, spices. anyway. That's good though. You ain't supposed to be eating none of that shit anyway. Yeah, this is like the spices good. is good though. Spices is good for you. Like, what's it? Mustard, anything. Once it hit my body, I'm like, oh. oh. I can drink some hot sauce. That's good for you. And really? uh, uh, cayenne pepper is real good for you. Uh, drink some good, hot man. sauce. That's good for you. You can't even use garlic? Nah. Fuck. Yeah, vampire. So, I can't even eat ketchup anymore, man. Ketchup has garlic in it. I know. It has onion powder in it. And ketchup got oh, goddamn... Smoking all that ganja. You got more uh. melanin. And that, them, that, that ganja, man, you know, us with darker melanin, man, it has a serious effect long term on us, man. Really? Oh, yeah, man. Health wise, man. Positive or negative? Negative for sure. No, I've been negative since um, no, 78, man. No, <laughs> no, 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 don't tell him. That's why you're fucked up. So, wait, you were born in what, 30 and 70s? You guys were born in 70s? I was born in 77. I was born in the 67. I was born in the 80s. I've been smoking since like he was one. You're, you're younger than him. He says, I was born in 81. I've been smoking since you was before you was born. You been smoking that long? 78. Dang. He said 70, oh, see, 78. That was your glory years, huh? As far as you ain't smoking crack and heroin. I don't and shit. get into that crap, man. Right, right, shit, right. Nasty. Well, mostly people that's been smoking back then, they turn it out. What, what music was you listening to back in 78? Some Eddie Van Halen? I don't know. You know, <laughs> pop, music, music, pop music, whatever. You know, sometimes drug music. I was taking acid and shit. <laughs> oh, trying to discover life. Hey, that was, hey, I did. I did a lot of that before. Oh, really? I ain't gonna lie. I did a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we was crazy at one time, man. It was one point, man. I had to wake up every day. I'm buying a fresh new bottle of liquor, man. You know, every day. Really? And I was fucking the bitches to make sure they was paying for that shit. You know. Every day, man. Every day. Always up, up, always up here in these dorms, knocking on one door to another door, just fucking bitches. Oh, and I'm not even exaggerating. We was going from every floor in these dorms, knocking on every door. Girl come to the door, she cool. We coming in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and go to the next one. I mean, I'm talking about thousands of dorm rooms. There's thousands of, of dorm rooms, man. He done had thousands of kids. <laughs> <laughs> It was crazy, man. You gotta plant my seed. The Lord said it'd be fruitful and multiply. A lot of bitches up here, man. Yeah, you gotta plant your seed whenever you can. Because you only planted two seeds? I don't know how many seeds I planted. <laughs> I, do, I, I, know, I planted more than two, I can tell you that. Really? I don't know how many no. grew. I don't fucking know how many grew. I, I, done, I done planted some seeds in Japan. 
open up. <laughs> I can't go into that. We on camera. Bitch. <laughs> well, you ain't no goddamn faggot. Shit, at least you ain't, you ain't talking about fucking them, uh, these faggots up in these sororities and shit. These fraternities. That beard chugging. Shit. Right, uh, butt, butt, butt chugging. Now, like, we used you to hear do about that, that dumb shit. You hear about butt that. chugging? We used to, uh, yeah, we, you know, we used to do the beer bong. You take a beer mm -hmm. bong, but now they doing beer bongs in the ass. In the booty, they put them in the booty. Oh, they, um, butt chugging. Like an enema, they put it right. through the, exactly. So can't exactly. kill you, can it? <laughs> just can. dropped dead from it. Somebody Depending on what kind of yeah. alcohol, yeah. Here on campus, he yeah, dropped so, dead? Did somebody just die from that, right? No, I didn't hear about or that. Or they went to the hospital or something. But it's a common practice yeah. with these fraternities and sororities. It's a common practice. That's fucked up. Man. No it's crazy. It's <laughs> First fun to them. <laughs> Shit. And it do get you fucked up. I was thinking about putting an allergy pill up there. About oh, like, fuck. Fuck it. <laughs> no, the thing something is, might happen. <laughs> it, it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> he said put an allergy pill up. You're on camera, dude. He said an allergy pill. <laughs> I didn't want nothing to happen, so I said, fuck it. Woo -wee. Man. Woo. That's a that's a that's an exit, not an entrance. <laughs> I know man, but shit. It just have a way more powerful effect when you put it put it in Right, it goes quicker. Yeah, man, that's disgusting. I wouldn't know. The effect is like, it gets the full effect. You I don't know, know how you get here, man. Take some oil and just dissolve with the acid and lose some of the effect, you know what I mean? Yeah, with the blood in your anus area. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's been medical practices I've been for as long as I can remember, man. When I was working in medical, when I was like, when I used to do home care, go to home to home, um, I used to care for a lot of uh, 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 paralyzed motherfuckers. And we had to actually put shit up their ass and have to put on gloves and help them shit, pull the shit out. I heard about, ah. Oh, <laughs> sometimes when you're man. constipated, they gotta, oh. oh, gotta go in and pull it all out. You gotta Fuck go in that. and pull it all out. And some of them I'm sorry, yo. Some I of them were fags before they were careful. I apologize to the YouTube community. Go up in further, <laughs> going further, man. You're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But that was a job, you know? I was just joking for what people think, man. I was getting fucking paid. I'm just pain. joking, man. You know funny, what I mean? Man. Fuck people, man. This is, <laughs> that is just, some crazy shit, some though. crazy shit, man. But that's what they're doing in the medical field. Doing everything yeah, about the ass. So, yeah, no, because look, about the that's answers. true, though, because when you go to these, uh, go to the doctor, whatever the doctor just wait, he cannot wait to stick his, your, his finger up your ass. You want to stick your finger? Yeah. You can go in there for the flu or a cold. He's like, I got, I got to put my finger in your ass to see if you're okay up here. He's anxious for that. <laughs> he no, wants no, to. Know, these it's doc coming out that they, they all personal perfect. Is they're being exposed right now by these doctors being exposed for their uh. Uh, the child pornography they have on the computers and shit. They, they, yeah, they do. Yeah, the child, they get caught with child porn on the computer. Mm -hmm. A lot of these doctors. Are. These doctors, they take a hermocratic oath. They take an oath to Hermes. Because what they really are, a doctor, because you can't everybody be a doctor. Okay, you takes a lot of school, a lot of studies. It takes a special motherfucker. And you get, and pretty much, what a doctor is the, like a modern day druid. Earlier when I was talking about the druids. It's like a modern day high priest of Satan. They're like a uh, part of the, they think they're part of the elite. They're like, they're juiced in. A lot of these uh, big time doctors, they're really like on their off hours, they'll go do little rituals. I mean, you don't believe it, but it's the truth. You ever seen that movie? What's that movie uh, with Tom Cruise in it, man? You when he was a lawyer? Or no, that was Devil's he was Advocate. Yeah, he was a doctor in that movie. Uh, uh I was thinking Christopher Reeves. My name is Keanu Reeves. Reeves. His wife, uh, Oh, which wife the fall? It's about secret societies and it's about oh, okay. how all the important Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, Eyes Wide Shut. I haven't shut. seen it, but I really that's I don't a, think I've seen that either. Watch that movie. That lays out the truth. That's what's really going on. Was it a horror movie? No, no, no. It's a conspiracy movie. Oh, it, no, 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 no. Sure. You sure. have to watch that movie. It was made, it was Stanley Kubrick slash, you know, Stanley Kubrick. All right, yeah. right. All right. <laughs> Some people said yeah, they killed him for oh. making that movie. Cause they said it had too much truth in it. Oh really? Cause he died shortly after that movie came out. So you have to watch that movie. It breaks breaks it down, shows you how all the elite people in New York City, uh, the lawyers, the judges, they all worship Satan. Really? That's not true. Are you sure it isn't conspiracy that he died That's because of the man. movie? Come on, man. That's a fact. Man. That's a fact. Everything's a conspiracy. Everything is a conspiracy. Well, what happened, to JFK? I guess he got hit by a rock. <laughs> Man got shot in the head. No, he didn't get shot. No, he got hit by a bird. Bird flying by, hit him. <laughs> nothing to see here. No conspiracy. Yeah, right. There's nothing happened. He didn't get shot. Uh, just like he's got to get a bump on his head. 
That's crazy. That's not a conspiracy. Oh, get I out know. of here, so man. Obama, he, he ain't going to make a full... Okay, uh, he, I'm going to hit you with something still, I still think they're going to assassinate him. Yeah, he ain't going to make a full... Oh, I still he's think gonna they're going to uh, assassinate Obama. Obama? One, one, one I still quarter that. terms, watch. I'm one hoping they do. Are they keep calling him Lincoln? Yep. They keep calling him Lincoln. Something seems funny with this shit. This is going to be a civil war, you know that? It's going to cause some shit. Let me up there. You know there's going to be a civil war, right? I will advise you to do the There's a lot of crazy-ass rednecks out there that want him dead. Yep. Yeah, that's a bunch of crazy. You know them rednecks. Constitutional Woo! Second Amendment motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they the, want uh, him dead, man. The, uh, I really believe. Damn, what the fuck was that? that? That's somebody starting that civil war right yeah. there. The civil war. I hope they do assassinate him because he's hurting the country overall. <laughs> you can't say that about the president. He has nothing to do with it. Oh yeah, you just going to point, put him in front street, so you can point the finger to the oh, to blame him when yeah. you're supposed to be blaming the Rothschilds. Because yep. with that Obamacare you know? is going to slow down the economy. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. Obama, yeah, yeah, Obama yeah. has power, but that kick in. Ooh, it's no, gonna be some after the shit. holidays, the yeah. businesses are gonna yep, start laying gonna, off, yep, and yep. the hospitals gonna downsize, and yep, you know, yep. it's gonna slow down everything. The new year is gonna bring. Once that December thirty first hit, over, right? <laughs> you gonna see the reality of Obama land. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Now I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited. I'm sure you I'm are. Excited. Plus, don't forget <laughs> about the wars. I mean, it's gonna all it, it's all gonna lead up to nuclear war. Do you remember December? I mean, March twenty third, two thousand thirteen. You gotta have the chip. That's just March twenty third. Huh? The RFI That's the deadline. That's the deadline. You got to have 2013. You got to have a chip by when? March. Then March 23rd, 2013. Next year. Next year. Yeah, right. Nobody it's, told it's me nothing. They ain't going to tell you. They just going to pop it's up. Law, hey, let me get that scripture it's out for the, the video. It's the law right now. Where is this law at? It's Obamacare. It's like page 1,000. Oh, it's Obamacare. Obamacare. It's part of Obamacare. Right. That page one goes... Page 1003 1, so you're yeah. telling me all those Supreme Court justices read it and they passed it even though it of come course. up with a chip in your head. Well, right. four of them didn't want to pass it. You either get it in your hand or your head, your forehead. It's passed. It's been in law. It's law. I won't be, it's like, I won't be buying insurance, nor will I be buying that chip. Well, I'm well your company is going to get fined $2,000 if you don't get insurance. Mm -hmm. hey, let me get a scripture out. We ain't had one in a minute. 2000 per person? Yep. Let me read so a scripture real quick. nobody can afford that shit, man. So, but it's it's a law. It's law now, though. So it's right. going to going to fail. It's going to but, kick um, in. This, uh, what you this got, state bro? can turn it uh, down. Revelation. Let me read this real quick. We talking about this. We talking about the market, the beast. That's that microchip we're talking about. When we're making a video. We got people on. They might get confused. Like, what are they talking about? You know what I mean? But check this out. Uh, I don't even know where to start, man. It's so good. <laughs> Uh, let me just, just start it. Man, I'm crazy nuts about the book of Revelations, period. Yeah, man. it's so deep. It's right, right. It's deep, man. And you people don't understand it, man. It's That's all talking about America. It's bad. Man. When it talks about them um, the seven kings and the ten horns, people have no clue what that is, man. Really? They have no clue what that is. Are you that really? excited over that? Oh, I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, it's, beautiful. All, it's all based on the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. America is Rome reincarnated. That's why they had that Roman temple downtown. You know what I mean? That's why they got Roman temples all over the place. Everywhere. It's like Everywhere. One, that's what people don't understand. That the book of Revelation is mainly talking about the Roman Empire in America. That's right. A lot of people don't understand that. I mean, not just downtown. <laughs> you go to yeah. Delaware County. You go to some small kick town and they you see it. temples in the middle of their fucking town. Roman man. temples. Roman temples. Because they actually every town in America. And believe me, they still sacrifice in after hours in That's their right. temples. Sacrifice, yeah. Probably when it when, whenever the stars line up a certain way, they'll do a certain well, type of sacrifice. Out. What 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 power do they get from doing a mock? No, they don't do mock sacrifice. That's right. They don't have fake babies. They got uh, real shit. Yeah, they got. <laughs> hey, you anger the spirits if you do a mock. Them. That's right. That's yeah. There you go. Yeah, you, you anger the demons. There if you go. don't give the demon blood, he's gonna get angry. And they want blood to flow, real blood. <laughs> yeah, you don't think it's real, man? Don't you know Hillary Clinton? She had a seance at the White House back when Bill Clinton was office. They uh, had a they had big get together. All the top witches joined together. And Hillary Clinton held a seance, and they said they was talking to Eleanor Roosevelt's spirit. You know, El Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of FDR. Right. <laughs> I know who that is. And she was a witch. You know, FDR was a big... Actually, it's FDR is the main reason why this whole society is the way it is today. 
He, he was the one who brought in all that socialism. Oh, she's a witch? Yeah, she's a witch. Yeah, she's a witch. Does she have powers or just? Well, no, I don't, I don't know I what. Don't, I'm not doubting it. I'm not saying she did. Shit, she probably did some exorcist <laughs> shit. Goes. I'm right. That's what I'm saying. You guys believe in wizardry now, too? That's just Come real, on. man. The it's Bible real. tells you about apparitions and. Why, why do you think they all the little kid movies nowadays uh, got wizards and magic in it? That, that most no, it's because they're trying to they're trying to force his way of thinking on us to accept what the Bible says. You got to kill a wizard and kill a witch, but now they got Harry Potter. He, he's a sorcerer. He's a he's a wizard. Or we got Gandalf. They try they trying to uh, get you to accept Satan. How do you know about that? Your children watching or oh, get into it? What's that? What you just described? I know all that. So I know all about Lord of the Rings. I, I used Every, to be heavy into that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, well, actually, you know who Jared, the Hobbit. You know who Jared, uh, laugh it up. You know who Jared <laughs> talking is? I've heard of him. That he's a guy that wrote Lord of the Rings. Right. He was a scholar before he was a writer, okay? This dude was like one of the top linguists that ever lived. Right. Spoke like, I don't know, like a hundred languages or something. But he was a scholar. But, uh, Here you go, uh, go ahead. This is Micah 4, 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in their power of their hand. Yeah, every day, that's talking about the elite, man. They're doing what they're doing because, first of all, the Most High letting them do it, okay? The Most High gave them that power, okay? Like when Esau, when Esau got his blessing from his father Isaac, Isaac blessed him with the sword. So that's why Esau is the one that controls the planet Earth and he controls it with the sword. Like all the elites, the fake Jews, they're not Jews, they're Edomites. All these, all these rich white guys that control the world, they're Edomites. And the Bible tells us that uh, Esau is blessed with the power of the sword. All right, keep going. And they that covet fields and take them by violence. And they covet fields. I mean, what's that talking about?